Attention, all the news in this video are all from around the internet and from our sources, we deliver to you the most realistic news, make sure to listen well and you can turn on the caption. Ralph Rangnick identifies two Manchester United problems during Newcastle draw. Ralph Rangnick felt Manchester United made technical and physical mistakes against Newcastle that led to a performance he wasn't happy with. Edinson Cavani came off the bench to equalise in the second half after Alan St. Maximin had put the hosts ahead, but it was a scrappy and disjointed performance from United. They could muster no response to the opening goal before the break and Rangnick was critical of the first half performance. He revealed he'd warned his team about Newcastle's danger on the break, which made United's habit of giving the ball away in dangerous areas all the more frustrating, while he also felt his team failed to match the intensity of the hosts. We didn't play good today, having been down 1-0 after 7 minutes we had too many unforced errors, too many giveaways in possession, including the goal, said Rangnick. That didn't make life any easier for us in this game. It was a massive push for Newcastle. In the first half, we didn't play good. I'm not happy with the first half performance. In the second half we had to take the risk of changing formation and making two subs. It was better in the second half but still not the kind of level we have to play to control games. There were two problems, the unforced errors and the technical errors, which were the wrong decisions in possession, this caused transitional moments from Newcastle, the good in this area, the other one problem, was we didn't play as aggressive without the ball in counter-pressing, that is a question of physicality. In both areas we were not at the level we should have been. United were playing their first game in 16 days after a COVID-19 outbreak forced the postponement of games against Brentford and Brighton, but Rangnick rejected the possibility of using that as an excuse for the performance. Maybe there might still be some side effects of COVID but I don't think we should look for excuses, he said. We should analyse and realise in this area, physicality, Newcastle was better than us. We have to raise that level, get better. In three days we're playing Burnley, this will be physical, we have to get more physical. Manchester United manager Ralph Rangnick responds to Gary Neville criticism. Ralph Rangnick has rejected Gary Neville's criticism of the body language and attitude of his Manchester United team after the draw with Newcastle. Neville accused the United players of being a bunch of whinge bags after the first half at St. James Park, when United trailed to Alan St. Maximin's opener and could offer no response. But Rangnick felt the issue was a lack of physicality in his team rather than the mental approach of his side and they rallied after the break to gain a point thanks to Edinson Cavani's equaliser. I don't think today it was a problem of body language, it was more a question of physicality, of meeting the demands with speed, tempo, physicality, the side effect is the body language afterwards. I don't think that was the major problem, said Rangnick. Neville accused the United players of playing like they were going to get another manager in the sack in his half-time broadside on Sky Sports. They are a bunch of whinge bags, their arms were in the air. They were shocking in the first half. They got the last manager the sack and they will get a lot of managers the sack like that, he said. Rangnick was disappointed with the first half performance but refused to criticise his team for their response to conceding the early goal, despite the fact they failed to create a chance in the first 45 minutes. The second half we showed a reaction. The way we prepared for the goal, the way ED converted that chance was good, he said. We had another two where ED could have scored. That could have been the winning goal. On the other hand we won a point, we didn't lose two. Ruben Neves breaks silence amid Manchester United transfer links. Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves has poured cold water on recent speculation linking him with Manchester United. The Manchester Evening News reported that Reds are prepared to move for a holding midfielder in January with Amadou Haidara among the candidates for the position. Neves has been subject to interest during his career at Molineux after signing from FC Porto whilst they were in the championship under Nuno Espirito Santo, with Arsenal being the most recent club to lodge interest. Recent reports from Fishages in Spain suggested that United were among the interested parties looking to make a move for the 24-year-old with his current situation putting multiple sides on red alert. 
but in an interview with Record via Sport Witness he had played down the talks. It's normal in football, he said. Whenever there's a transfer market there's a lot of talk, but my goal and focus are on Wolverhampton and I'm not going to change that, things have been going really well for me. I still have a lot to learn, I have a lot to give here. The future will be seen soon, I like to live in the present and I'm happy, I feel great in Wolverhampton and I'll focus here because if I do things right I'm sure the future will be bright. My goal will always be to give my best and give even more for the club. Bruno Larga succeeded his fellow countrymen in the summer and after a slow start, his side have continued rising up the Premier League table as they sit four points off Spurs in fifth. An exceptional talent, Gary Neville singles out Man United star Mason Greenwood who, has to play. Gary Neville believes Mason Greenwood can reach the very top of the game if Manchester United take care of him and provide him with regular opportunities. The talented 20-year-old has bagged five goals for the Red Devils this season as he continues to build on his breakthrough campaign under old Gunnar Solskjaer. Greenwood faces plenty of tough competition for a starting spot under Ralph Rangnick though with the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Marcus Rashford, Jadon Sancho and Edinson Cavani all at the Germans' disposal. Speaking before tonight's 1-1 draw with Newcastle, United legend Neville waxed lyrical about the club's academy graduate. I think Greenwood has to play. For me he's an exceptional talent, Neville said. I think he can potentially play with his back to goal, he can receive on the half turn. I just think he has to play. The growth in him is greater than a lot of young players in the squad. He has so much to give. Everybody that's a Manchester United fan, the coaching staff, everybody recognises that this could be something really special. Get his head right, keep him fit, keep him consistent, make sure he has good senior players around him that can basically lead him and get him on track and I think you've got something there that could be anything he wants to be in football. I think he has to be in the team to grow. He's worthy of a goal all the time. At this moment in time probably more than Sancho, so for me it's not a surprise he's in the team it's just if he plays the role Sancho is playing it's something that's very different for him. Jose Mourinho targets Manchester United Academy star Charlie Wellens for Roma. Jose Mourinho is keen for Roma to sign Manchester United Academy star Charlie Wellens, according to reports. The 19-year-old midfielder is yet to make his debut for United but was allowed to join a few first-team training sessions during Jose Mourinho's time at Old Trafford. Wellens also took part in first-team training during Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's reign but he still remains a regular with United's under-23s. According to The Sun, Mourinho was keen to bring Wellens to Tottenham before his departure earlier this year. The report claims that Tottenham have kept their interest in Wellens but Mourinho is now looking to sign the midfielder for Roma. Wellens, who has also attracted interest from Inter, signed his first professional contract with United last year which expires at the end of the season.